In this video, I want to show you how to create labels from Microsoft Access. Depending on what you're doing, you might want to generate either mailing or shipping labels from a query or a report, and it's helpful to be able to run them right out of Access instead of a separate program like Word. So let's go ahead and create a simple query showing the active customers. I'm going to go ahead and select Create and query design and I'll select customers go ahead and close that and I'm going to select just a few of the fields I'm going to select first name last name address city state zip code selected that twice so let's get that out of there then I'm going to select the active field so I can tell it to just select the active customers and let's go ahead and take a look at that query as it stands right now so we go to view and it shows all the customers shows their addresses and it shows active and inactive so let's come back to the design view and let's come over here to the active field and say does not equal zero which means does not equal false since active is a boolean field it can have only one of two values true or false yes or no or one or zero so we're saying it does not equal false and if we look at the query view again you can see that only the active customers are showing so now we have a query that's showing us our active customers and their contact information so what I want to do now is generate mailing labels from these so that we can send them out some materials or something on a promotion or whatever and so we'll go over to create and under the report section we'll select labels and it's asking to save the query first you actually do need a data set to run labels from if you're going to create labels you have to have something to supply the data so I'm going to say yes and query active customers now access supplies the templates for a lot of different labels that you might find in the stores and in this case I have the Avery manufacturer already selected Avery produces a lot of different labels you've probably seen their name you've seen their labels in use I'm gonna leave Avery selected and I'm going to come back over here and make sure that 5160 is selected that's a basic mailing label that you can use on envelopes and I'm going to leave it as sheet fed because those are provided in sheet form you can put those through laser printers and such and then I'm going to click next I'm going to leave this pretty much the same I'm going to change the font size to 10. I'll leave it as Arial. That's a nice sans serif font, so it's easy to read. And I'm going to leave everything else the same. Click Next. Now it gives us a way to set up the label itself. This is a prototype label. It shows how the fields are going to be displayed. So I'm going to double click first name, and you can see it placed it right there on the prototype label. You can enter spaces and symbols as you want so I'm going to add a space then double click on last name then I'm going to click enter to go to the next line I'm going to add the address field I'm going to hit enter again I'm going to select city I'm going to put a comma in there state a couple spaces and then postal or zip code so what that's going to do is it's going to format each label with the spaces and the symbols that I've specified and it's going to insert the data that it finds within that query and we don't have to use active because that's only setting the records that are returned so right now we have the label set up and I'm going to click next and now it's asking what field that I want to sort by I think I'm going to sort by last name. 
let's just put these in order alphabetically click next and yes I do want to see the labels as they'll look printed first I'm going to set the name of the report report labels active customers and click finish now it's giving us a warning that some data may not be displayed it's possible that it doesn't like the default printer let's just go ahead and click OK and it looks like it's printing OK it looks like everything's set up as it should be you can see that the labels are in alphabetical order by last name and there's three columns and it's set up with pretty much the spacing that you would expect for labels. Let's go ahead and look at the design real quick. And what it's done, it's actually set the size of the report detail to match an individual label. It's about one inch by two and five eighths inches wide. And if we come over here to the report design tools and select page setup, we can see some more of the details. Let's go ahead and click on margins. It set custom margins and we can see those in a minute. If we actually go to the page setup, you can see that it set the margins to half an inch on three or half an inch on the top and the bottom, about a quarter inch on the left and a third of an inch on the right approximately. So it's allowed plenty of space around the text on each label so that it prints out prints it out as it needs to and then if we come over here to columns you can see it's set the number of columns it's set the column spacing of about an eighth of an inch between each column the column size and width the width and height are set appropriately it's done all of this for me so none of this has to be adjusted it can be if necessary but it can be left just the way it is it's printing across and then down as you can see the if we go back to the print view then you can see that it's actually printing the names across in alphabetical order and then going down going back to the design view you can see that what is done here it's just added three text boxes for each label and it's used concatenation to combine the first and the last name on the first row and the city state and zip on the third and it's used the trim function if you actually look at the control source here you can see the formula that it's used it's used the trim function which trims off any leading or trailing blank spaces off of any first and last names that it sees so that's something that's worth remembering something that you might be able to use and some of your formatting if you do any custom formatting of, of text down the line but once you look at it it's really not too complex it's set it up for you and it's actually a very simple matter to create your own labels as you need to from access so let's go ahead and go back to print preview let's go ahead and print and it's using the Microsoft print PDF which is the default printer on my system so I'm going to change that to the brother printer the laser printer that I have set up and there are actually two pages on this let me go ahead and maximize this you can actually see that it's printing two pages so I would need two pages of labels going back to print go to brother printer and again the page setup is there you don't have to adjust anything in that and then I would just hit OK so assuming that I've actually already printed these out and you can see here that I have them printed on the 5160 labels from Avery you can see how it's printed them out it's printed out the data it seems to be laid out just as it needs to be it doesn't seem to be any problem at all and it's lined them up pretty well you can see the borders of the labels themselves it centered them very nicely without any problem at all just scrolling down here along the labels doesn't seem to be any problem 
So that's actually a nice looking label. And as you can see, the Arial font is very easy to read. No problem at all there. So you can see just how handy this is. You can print these straight out of Access using your existing data. You don't have to set it up through a separate program. So it's a lot easier and a lot more convenient if you're doing a mailing to your customers or your subscribers or whoever you're working with. So that's how you print labels out of access.